Hello, how are you doing? Hope you're having a wonderful day. Welcome to my channel. My name is Bobby. I am the Emperor of the Universe. I actually, I could be categorized as Empress of the Universe, but that would just confuse the shit out of people, especially if you don't understand how fem divine feminine energy and divine masculine energy works. And you can embrace both, which you normally do, when one's either stronger than the other. But anyway, I digress. Good to see you. This video is going to... Oh, first of all, I'd like to say that I always wear this thing. I bought this thing in Roswell and it's last year and it was amazing. It's kept me warm. It's like a blanket. It's so... I mean, it's awesome. I just want to apologize because I don't really have much of a, you know, production value as far as wardrobe goes. <clears throat> and the hat I usually wear was actually made by my mother that I got like 10 years ago or so when I went to Maine this year and it was like a 20 degrees it was like a high it was like um, Bangor, Maine outside is Milford, Maine outside of Bangor, Maine which is the home of Stephen King who's kind of a dick but anyway yeah he's his house is really cool like, wicked looking I have a picture of my Facebook page which I took it I had um my father and law take a picture of me in, at the gate. It's wicked. It's all like bats and stuff. Oh, yeah. It's Stephen King all over the place. Anyway, I'm rambling. <clears throat> anyway, sorry. This video is about my sister, Deanna. Amazon warrior. First of all, I would like to say that this woman should probably run for Congress. She would be badass as a, as a, as a states person, stateswoman. She would be badass. She's like, just takes no shit, total you know, justice, social justice warrior and the best quality of it, not the bullshit where it's just, they don't like what you have to say or whatever garbage. She literally, if she sees the wrong, she writes it. For example, I'll give you two. Um, my father's cousin, Bob Keith, was a drag racer and he's a famous one. He's the one that started drag racing in England. He actually took his drag race dragster over to England and let them use his drag racer so they could, you know, drag race. And he was left out of the museum in Britain as far as the drag racing. And my <clears throat> my sister was doing research on the family and she found out about that. And she wrote them a letter or she contacted somebody to let them know about, you know, his contributions. He was the one that got together and he was the one who called a meeting of the local <clears throat> drag racers to go to Australia too and, and England. And I guess a bunch of really famous guys showed up. It was really cool. But anyway. So she righted that wrong, so they actually sent her an email saying that they apologized and the person that was doing it passed away, blah, blah, blah. But, but yeah, they re, they made sure that he was, yeah, that was really cool. And I actually saw pictures of his drag race, racers. And my dad was one that got him into it, told him to do it. Because he's a mechanic and into cars and stuff. So that was one instance of her social justice warrior, you know, activity. And another one was... A friend of hers that she worked with, co-worker, at a hospital when she was a manager. She was basically managing their billing. Manager of billing, sorry. And this lady was one of the nurses. I worked there 35 years, and she was murdered. And the way she was murdered was horrible. And it was somebody that was she was letting stay with her. And they wrote a horrible article about her. And it was nothing like this woman. And my sister was like, this is bullshit. This is, I know this woman. This was nothing like her. So she called, and the, the guy that wrote it, she called all the newspapers, uh, everybody. She was harassed. She's like, dude, the, you need to change this story, blah, blah, blah. And even her work was telling her to cease and desist because she was harassing people, and they didn't like it. I get my sitting of shit. But anyways, they ended up, the guy that wrote the article ended up writing a two-page retraction, which was awesome. And at the funeral, her, the, the lady that was murdered, parents came up to my sister just to meet her because they wanted to meet the woman that, you know, did all this for their daughter. So yeah, that's my sister. Badass, right? I love my sister. Here comes the story. Okay. <clears throat> my sister's what? 50? She's over 50. This was she's early 40s. And she's at a high school in the parking lot skating with these younger underage girls that were her friend's daughters. And she was just like kind of chaperoning them and stuff. <clears throat> and they're all hanging out at the parking lot. And these two guys pull in the car and they've been drinking and they were trying to hit on these two underage girls. And my sister was like, you know, she was like, how did she put it? She's like, hey, Jack, you know, hey, bro, you know, these are underage girls. Kick rocks. I get on. And the passenger, the guy in the passenger seat decided he was going to be smart ass. 
he said, like, you know, come here, like waved there, like you want to say something to her. So she's like, okay, I come up to him and hey, what's up? And the passenger spit in her face. Okay, if you know my sister, and I think that past video was pretty evident of her badassness. <clears throat> yeah, that dude made a huge mistake. First, her first reaction was to leap into the vehicle and try to take the keys out of the ignition because she didn't want them to go anywhere for what she was going to do to them. Yeah, that's my sister, right? So the, the passenger screaming at the driver to go. And the driver realizes that she's taking the keys out of the ignition, so he 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 kicks it and go, and he starts driving away with my sister hanging out of the car, her feet dangling with the skates. Right? These two girls are watching this. <clears throat> so the guy starts taking off. What does my sister do? Fearless, she starts beating the shit out of the passenger while she's sk skating down the street. You know, and the only reason why they got away was she, his shirt ripped, and she she ended up. I don't know how she didn't get killed, like you know, getting out, getting flown away. But she's on skates. That's what she was on skates. I was like rolling, right? But my this is my sister. It's not over there. She's this dude was getting pounded by my sister. This is I've I've taken an asphalt for this girl. She's badass. <clears throat> so anyway, she runs. She skates back to the car. Tells the girls get in the car. She's hauling ass after these two guys. This is my sister. She's done. She's like, yeah, she's in Terminator mode. So she's chasing these dudes down the street. She wants to whoop some ass. So they they see her coming out there. So they're hauling ass and trying to hide. They turn off into the side street real quick. And she was going too fast. So she had to stop and spin around. And she was getting all crazy. <laughs> and one of the girls was talking to her mom, calling her. And her mom wanted to talk to my sister. Because she was like, my mom wants to talk to you. And she was like, please don't hurt my daughters. And she, my sister had to call. She's like, calm down. We got we got the plates. We can get them later. And my sister had to actually calm herself down because she realized she wasn't alone. And she was getting a little, yeah. This is the funniest part, yeah. So anyway, that was my sister. She she They got away because she realized she didn't want to endanger the daughters. So she was like, fine. But she was, yeah. Woo, they got lucky. She said, dude got punched in the face maybe five or six times. And they probably got the shit scared of him, but yeah, my sister, I've seen that woman in a rage and just badass. It's like, yeah, it's like she tells me, she goes, I, I, I go, I, you know, she blacks out. That's what she says. She blacks out. And she just starts beating ass. I'm like, yeah, I know that feeling. <laughs> I've, I've actually, I've done a video before about my experiences with fighting and stuff, and they've been rare. <clears throat> but every time it's been somebody else, and they've just hauled off and punched me in the face or something, and. It would be like a green light. Some people, when you get punched in the face, they curl. They they fetal position, they cry or whatever. It just, to me, it's just instant. It's almost like you flip a switch and it gives me carte blanche to just beat the living shit out of you. Because that's just wrong, right? Because you don't do that to people. You don't hurt people. Like four, I was four when the first time a kid punched me in the face. And I beat the shit out of him. I was crying like a little baby, but I was beating the crap out of this kid. I, there's, a, there's a archive of it. It's funny. Anyway. So it's in the genes, man. We're just we got that warrior kind of thing going on. Yeah, just don't fuck with us, and we'll be we'll love you. And she's a really she's a big empath. She's always a giver, a thoughtful person. But she's like totally taking no shit, man. And these were the women that raised me. Her, and my other sister, who was also a badass who beat the shit out of dudes. But she was more into she would use her sex. She was using her, her looks to get what she was instead of beating the crap out of guys. So she was more feminine compared to Deanna. She was more warrior, like Xena. Anyway. But yeah, that's my sister, warrior, <laughs> Amazon warrior, badass, that I love dearly, my respects, because I've been, I've had that ass whoop before, it's not good, she's a fighter, anyway, <clears throat> I hope you enjoyed it, um, power to women, I'm telling you man, ain't nothing but love for women, and all you soft and wonderful, but you can whoop some ass on occasion when you, when you get to it, anyway, I'm gonna let you go, have a wonderful day, um, God loves you, I love you, and the universe is still digging you. Just, just loosen that sweet. Have a wonderful day. Okay, bye.